If you play Osu, you've probably heard of the wooting. I mean, it's everywhere. It's on Twitter, every top player is talking about it. Speed players were gatekeeping it because of how good it was. It's so good that even Saito is putting it in his fridge for later. And solely because of Osu, the amount of wooting that's in stock has gone down drastically. If you order a wooting, it'll take at least two months to arrive, when previously it only took a week. So why? Why all this commotion over a keyboard? To answer that, let's look at Osu. Your main goal is to click circles. But sometimes these circles, they just don't stop. They keep going on. Forever. But the actual main goal, and the more better objective, is sometimes these circles appear... Fast. Being slow just ain't the move. I mean, unless you're this guy. But chances are, you are not that guy. And you never will be. Now ideally for most players, you want a mechanical keyboard, a high refresh rate monitor, and a drawing tablet. You'll get a bit better by using these. But you can't expect to sh** out 1Ks. You need to actually be good. But, if you give the right player with the right potential, the right gear, they could be good. And so what is the best gear? Well, for Osu, the wooden keyboard. So what makes the wooden keyboard different from others? Well, actuation point. So the booting has analog switches. This means that you can change the actuation point from 0.1 to 4 millimeters. Comparing that to a popular switch like the Cherry MX Red, the actuation point is 2 millimeters. So 2 millimeters versus 0.1. You barely have to even touch it for it to activate, which is very ideal for speed. Rapid trigger. On a normal keyboard, it needs to go from a reset to an active back to a reset point. However, with the booting, there's no such thing. When you press and unpress your key, there is literally zero delay. With these two features, this makes speed much easier to play. And trying it out for myself, even though I can give a very good analysis since I'm not a top player, I can say that my streaming is better just by using it. So eventually, once you do buy your booting and install the software, it'll look like this basically. In the settings, you can change the language, the interface. There's keyboard settings like N key rollover, Chroma Connect for Razer devices even a gamepad mode if you have an xbox controller there's an rgb sleep mode if you don't want to burn your eyes at night and if you have an ansi versus iso layout it'll look like that but here's the main reason why everybody's getting the booting performance when we go to performance here's where you set the actuation point so 0.1 just like that and when you go to the advanced settings you want these on for osu also there's tachyon mode which basically makes your keyboard as fast as possible here's where you remap the keys so if you have a different layout, you can use them. And then you have advanced keys. Okay, so I didn't unbox it live, but I do have the box still. It came with a wooting sticker, which is pretty cool. And also comes with this take control tape. I don't really need it. And then it came with this bag with the keycap puller, some extra switches. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Here's the keyboard itself. And I already know that most people will be dying to know what it sounds like and when you're like tapping. So here you go. And also here's what the analog switch looks like. It's called the Lecker switch. And also, I figure I might as well do a typing test, so enjoy the ASMR. My accuracy is pretty bad when typing. It's not the booting's fault, but I just make a lot of typos. Also, here's all the presets. So right now, we're on wave. Wait, why is it not moving? Oh, here we go. Okay, that's the wave. Then here's ocean, inferno, spring, pink, and blue spectrum. And then here's scan, breathe, cycle, ripple, trail, touch, jelly, okay, AOE, okay, mixing, I guess that's for like music, RT display. And yeah. And now to wrap the video up, I'm gonna show some top players using the wooden keyboard and shredding. It's shred time. Time. Oh, oh what the fuck?